So this is our 2020 Hyundai Ioniq Electric and this is just an update video about the coolant issues that these 38 kilowatt Ionics are having. So I made a video about a month ago about this car because we had the refill coolant error message up there on the screen and many people were asking me on that video for an update. So that's what this one is about. So about three weeks ago now we booked the car into a Hyundai dealer. We actually used Platinum Hyundai in Chippenham and uh, it went in we took it in for about 8 30 in the morning uh it went in the garage well sorry went in the workshop um first thing as it were uh, and they didn't uh, call us to say collect the car until 3 30 in the afternoon um so the job is called coolant system circuit debris discharge and coolant change code 20 d140 so not much to report really other than we've had the job done that's where they flush the coolant out um, and flush any debris out of the battery pack the issue is on these that the coolant is um, crystallizing or sort of sludging up and uh, that's happening inside the battery pack so they flush it all out and then refill with new coolant and they changed the coolant type now so these did have a coolant that was called bsc1 which is just basically a um, a battery coolant and they're now using a coolant called BSC2. So as to whether that's going to make any difference, who knows, time will tell. Uh, it's been three weeks now and we've not had the uh, another issue and the coolant reservoir bottle is sitting nice and steady on the full mark. So uh, only time will tell whether um, this is a a permanent cure. So I'll just recap what the issue is on these cars. So this is your coolant bottle and obviously you've got coolant here going around your uh, electric motor, inverter and charger units here through the radiator and on these cars it also tees off and goes through the battery pack under the floor whereas the previous generation Ionic with the 28 kilowatt hour battery had an air cooled battery. But on the 38 kilowatt hours, you've got a water cooled battery. And the issue is this coolant they're using is crystallizing or sort of sludging up in the battery pack. I don't know why. I would imagine it's the channels in the battery are very small. I'm guessing there. But anyway, um, after about a year of Hyundai have uh, experienced in this problem on customers' cars, they were flushing it out and fitting the uh, refilling with the same BSE1 coolant. They've now got this new sort of recall and they're changing the coolant to something called BSC2. And uh, supposedly that's going to be better and uh, a, a permanent fix for it, as it were. But only time will tell whether that is going to solve the problem. So the issue clearly is the type of coolant they're using. Um, but so anyway, we've had it done. And as you can see, it's still a blue coolant like the previous coolant that we're using and this coolant I'm just saying actually this coolant has dropped it's now a little bit below halfway between the maximum and the minimum mm, that's not a good sign because actually what happens if it does crystallize up the first symptoms you see is a dropping of the coolant level because obviously there shouldn't be a leak and it's not leaking anywhere um, so that's not a good sign because that's only been three weeks and that was dead on the maximum mark so maybe i'll be doing another update video at some point soon but anyway what i've seen online is some people who've had this job done have had continuous uh, continued problems um, but it's difficult to tell whether the issue is still with this new coolant because some dealers were still using the original coolant and weren't following these uh, revised um, technical service bulletin and were still just doing a flush and a refill. Obviously now they've changed the procedure a little bit and it's a, a flush and a refill but it's a refill with a different coolant. So uh, yeah that's it really that's all I can report other than to say we've had it done on this car at the moment it's all been fine and uh, we're just going to have to see how it goes but i hadn't realized until now obviously our coolant level has dropped a little bit in only three weeks 
so um, yeah I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that so that's it uh, if you found it useful as always please do click the thumbs up and if you've had the same job done on your Ionic 38 and you've had a reduction in the coolant level or you've had a continuing problem let me know in the comments and maybe I'll be back in a few weeks time with an update on this car. Look at it. Bye then.